Good morning, bro, and Merry Christmas. In celebration of the season, I decided to read A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. But let me answer your question first. Why am I wearing a Santa robe? A, a Santa robe where the arms are a little too short. Well, I can't wear my Christmas suit because I lent that to my sister. I could wear Christmas socks, but camera ends right here, so you wouldn't really see them. And I mean, what's the point? I'd wear my Santa suit, but I left that to my in-laws. You might be asking, well, Kevin, why don't you do it with a reindeer? I don't have a reindeer, and I don't have enough time to capture one and bring it to this state and train it. You might be wondering, Kevin, why don't you wear something more subtle, like a Christmas tie? Because that just looks stupid. You may be wondering, Kevin, why don't you just wear a Santa hat? Well, I can't find it. You may also be wondering, why didn't you just wear a Christmas t-shirt? Well, here I am, wearing a Christmas t-shirt. It's, it's nice, I guess. It's probably more comfortable than the robe, but I don't really think it's as fun. And thus, we return to the Christmas robe, and we finally get to the review of A Christmas Carol. Now, A Christmas Carol is not the first Charles Dickens book I've had the pleasure of reviewing for you. I've also reviewed A Tale of Two Cities, and if you haven't seen that video, check it out. Now, I've been exposed to A Christmas Carol many times in my life. For example, I have seen movie renditions of the book many, many times. Some of the highlights including Mickey's, A Mickey's Christmas Carol, A Muppet's Christmas Carol, which happens to be my favorite rendition. I even saw The Man Who Invented Christmas, which is really good. I've also seen the play once or twice. So I figured it was about time that I read the book. And I read the book. And I learned something really important. The movies and the play and all those things, they follow the book pretty closely. I felt like I knew a lot of the story. However, there were a few things that I noticed in the book that I haven't seen in any of the many renditions of A Christmas Carol that I've seen. For example, I had no idea that Scrooge actually had another apprentice at Fezziwigs. I had no idea. Also, there's this whole scene um, with the Ghost of Christmas Future, where somebody's going to check on a loan. I haven't seen that in any of the other renditions, or I have, and I've forgotten. It's just not that common of a scene. I thought that was really interesting. Despite the fact that I knew a lot of the times what was coming next, I still really enjoyed the book. It was super interesting. And Charles Dickens, in his way, he was so descriptive. And I really, really felt like I understood, understood Scrooge a lot better by reading the book than I did with any of the other renditions or styles of the story that I had seen before. Oh yeah, and A Christmas Carol has like one of the best beginnings of any book. Marley was dead to begin with. Are you kidding me? That is a super good opening line. Marley was dead to begin with? What a great way to begin. It's like in his other book, A Tale of Two Cities. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Man, Charles Dickens knows how to start a book. Another great thing about A Christmas Carol is that it's short. It's very quick. It gets to the point. It makes you feel good. It makes you want to be a better person. It makes me not want to yell at people when I'm driving. A Christmas Carol is an easy read. It's festive. The version that I listened to was by Tim Curry, who does an amazing job, by the way. And reading the book really got me into the Christmas spirit. We are well into December now, but take the time and read or listen to A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. It's really good. It'll make you get into the Christmas spirit. And most importantly, hopefully, it'll make you look at yourself and try to become a better person. Also, when you read A Christmas Carol, you'll get an opportunity to learn about the thing that took Christmas from a very minor Christian holiday and helped morph it into a worldwide phenomenon. If you want to learn more about that, see the movie The Man Who Invented Christmas. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please leave a comment below. If you have a book you'd like us to review, please also leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again for joining us and Merry Christmas.